Enter the Herndon home, a quiet, cozy, and spacious Tudor-style house newly erected in the Midtown area, which is perfect for this family of five to make memories and enjoy one another in comfort and style. Designed by Sloan Flannoy and constructed by Herndon Construction, the house fills a little over 3,500 square feet and is surrounded by a front and backyard with beautiful landscaping done by Chris Harmon of Wildwood Gardens. The project began in March of 2015 and the Herndon family moved in March of 2016. Claire and Jamie were drawn to the natural charm of the Midtown area, which houses many families due to the proximity of schools, shopping, dining, and public parks. Lewis, Ada, and Cece, Jamie and Claire's kids, attend a nearby school and they like the idea of being close enough for their kids to safely walk there each day. The neighborhood has a friendly feel, which is now even more so with the addition of the Herndons. The soft white colors which travel throughout the house make the perfect backdrop for two centerpieces in the space of the home. The chimney stove and the Cypress Island. Where the stove is, the brick is exposed like a chimney. Claire saw the idea online and had the contractors build the brick placement into the room. Custom made from 500 year old Sinker Cypress by Valley Fur and Redwood Company, the island is perfect for eating breakfast, letting baked goods like little cookies and pies cool, or setting up hors d'oeuvres for a holiday party. At the table is a collection of mismatched chairs. The two on the end belong to Claire's grandmother. White bar stools blend into the island, adding to the contrast to the cypress top. A wreath above the sink came from Kimmy Farms. Ready, set, eat. This heartwood pine farmhouse dining table made by Chattahoochee Woodworks is plenty big enough for the Herndons plus a few friends. Claire has set the table with her grandmother's silver goblets and the antique silverware's pompadour by Whiting. The Christmas tree plateware is from Cuthbertson and Claire did the floral arrangements. The horse print above the mantel came from Fine and Funky and the stockings were embroidered by Cotton Blossom. Claire bought them years ago before she had kids and then had them embroidered as the kids came along. The bookshelf was built into the home and the orange rustic bench is from the junkyard antiques. Rugs and pillows on the couch and floor are from Scott's Antiques in Atlanta and the wall color is nuanced by Sherwin Williams. Tying the room together is a rug from Scott's Antique Mall and the pine box coffee table is a family piece from Claire's mother. Following the themes of the house with simple white reflecting colorful additions, the master bedroom suite is filled with beautiful ornaments, rugs, and furniture. Naturally, the bed is the center focus, and Etsy provided the bedspread as well as the headboard, which has been painted a deep mahogany. The furniture came from the grandparents, and the Native American tribal rug adds some color and pattern to the room, and also some warmth. A natural touch, the flower prints above the dresser with the birds, adds a statement of life to the room. Paper brick and finely finished wood come together for a beautiful contrast in this warm and inviting bathroom. Antique bricks cut into pavers line the floor, while the double vanity is a simple white so as not to compete with the brick. The countertops are quartz, which are easy to clean and are made by Elegant Surfaces in Noonan, Georgia, and the vanity was custom made by Herndon Construction. A clawfoot bathtub from e e Plumbing is made to look old and sits in a cutout under a window. Warming the brick is an antique rug from Claire's grandmother and a small frame painting by Claire's friend Mary Kane hangs on the wall. <music> 